Mitchell, copy. We don't get 911 calls. We actually see bad things happening. Radio going off, and here comes a siren. I mean, this kind of stuff happens all day long. The North Shore of Oahu's got some of the most infamous waves in the world. We got Pipeline, Sunset Beach, Waimea, Haleiwa, all that packed in with the Seven Mile Miracle. We have basically two seasons, summer and winter. Our summertime tends to be flat. We respond to mostly uh, boating and diving incidents. And then winter rolls around and the surf comes in and with it creates all kinds of havoc. And the waves can go from flat to 40 feet in a matter of hours, and we've really got to be on our toes and keeping track of what's going on. So you can look out to sea right now, and it looks flat, and all of a sudden, there's a 30 to 40 foot wave out of nowhere, and it might go flat for 10 minutes again. Somebody shows up in those 10 minutes, why can't I swim? Well, can you just hold on for 10 minutes, and maybe that will be self-explanatory. I basically get to work with the best watermen and women in the world. Uh, you're not going to trust a skinny ship. You're not going to trust a lifeguard who doesn't get wet. Having a, uh, a love for the ocean is that perfect transition into becoming a lifeguard. Being a surfer, huge plus, especially on the North Shore. If you can't surf in these conditions, how do you expect to go out and get someone and bring them in? Whatever the conditions are that day, I'm, I'm, I'm always going to jump in the water. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I won't lie, I'm, I'm, I'm on my knees praying before I go out just to, for safety. But I'll swim out there and I'll always try to punch through the surf. I'll just jump right in front of the tower, just try to get on the other side of the surf. And now I'm ready, I'm ready to go. We do our best to keep the inexperienced out, you know, but, uh, but the regulars, they're going to surf it. And the moment that they paddle out the pipeline, I think most of them know the risk that they're, that they're taking. You can either seriously injure yourself, you can knock your head, you can pass out, you can die. I would say that Pipeline, Sunset, Waimea, they're all double black diamonds. It doesn't matter if you are the best surfer in the world, accidents happen. We've had four of the top 10 surfers in the world go unconscious right here at this beach. We all the map, we all the rain. We've been nice and close to shore, guys. Brian saw it before I did because I was on the sled and he just gunned it and then I saw a limp wave. I scooped him and I'm like, Brian, you need to back up and here comes the sled. I just told Brian, gun it, just get out of here and get to shore. Um, and he was, wasn't breathing really good. He was pretty limp when I was holding him on the sled. He was pretty limp. A lot of times guys get hit by their boards and I thought maybe it just shot back from the leash and hit, it, hit him. He said he was pushed into a cave and he felt his ribs break. You can feel them floating around inside him. If you surf pipeline on a regular basis, it's not if, it's when. You're gonna get hurt. doing this job for 20 years and, and I can see myself doing it for as long as I can keep in good shape. When you actually save a life, there's, there's nothing, it's a bond that, you know, there's nothing else quite like it. And it, one person alone doesn't do it. It's a group effort. 